Hi, my name is Tina and this is my daughter Manish, who's 15. Um, and we are going to talk about Cross Country App, which we absolutely love. Um, when Manish was 12, she's been eventing since she was 10. When she was 12 and um, we thought it was time that she started doing minute markers and looking at her time and I finally let her get a watch. Um, we, we bought a tiny little wheel and tried to walk the course with the wheel and it went really badly and we had no idea what we were doing. The next, yeah. So we pretty much abandoned that. The next yeah, event... Yeah, straight cross country up. We found cross country up um, on a Facebook link. And Facebook is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Had a look at that and thought that's worth a try. Downloaded it. It's the first app and the only app actually to now that I've ever paid money for was worth every single cent, much cheaper than a, uh, a good wheel, and thought that's worth a try. Um, we used it at our very first event um, and haven't looked back. So that was about three years ago now. And we've been, I've got lots and lots of courses on my phone, and um, which is great when we go back to the same venue that we can have a look at some of those jumps. If we've got a different horse and doing the same level, we can have a look at the jumps that are on that course, even though they may not be exactly the same. Um, Manish has found it really good to keep her time with her minute markers. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very pedantic with my minute markers. <laughs> so, um, so she's found it really good also to go back and have a look at the, um, the course when you go back to the float. So usually what we do is if it's a course we've been to before, generally we'll know the direction that we should go and we'll walk the course and record it the first time we walk it, um, taking photos all the way along. Um, I'm quite familiar with the eraser now, that was a bit scary in the beginning, I must admit, but yes. I've, got, I've got used to that and I'm quite comfortable with using it. So we'll usually record it on the first round yeah. around. It's great for me, when I'm walking by myself, I can just grab the app and keep walking and you just hear the minute markers and go, Oh yeah, yep, put my marker here and you can look at the jumps if you want. And so you can have a look exactly the surroundings that you're at when the minute marker goes off and you know that's where your minute marker is. Yeah. Um, then um, usually we walk it a second time with the app and just press the satellite button and just walk with it and the minute markers go off as we walk it, which is great because we, uh, you're not having to constantly look at your phone and take the photos like you do the first time around. Um, and and you, again, checking your markers, making sure you're in the right place. Then quite often we'll go back to the float before Manish rides um, her course. She'll flick through the app again and just scroll through the photos and just really it's, cement in where the jumps are. And not just that, there are notes in there. So if you've got any problems about any of the jumps, you can just write them in there and you'll be like, oh, okay, so my horse is going to do this, so I should probably prepare, prepare and think about that. So this course which we downloaded here for SIAC Midweek, um, the intro course, there was a little skinny jump and we noticed that there was a one star jump right behind it as you're coming up. And one of the things we noticed is probably your horse is not going to be looking at the jump you're going to jump, it's going to be looking at the one star jump behind you. So we put that in the notes because we thought that'll be something that we need to remember to make sure the horse is focused on the jump that we're going to jump. Um, but if you're just taking a photo with the jump and that's all, that might be something you forget when you rewalking the course and scrolling through. Um, the strides in between combinations, we can pace them out and if they're a short or a long stride and in fact I think with this course we noticed in between two of the jumps you'd land, do one stride and then turn and then do three and putting that in there and being able to go back and review it and remind yourself, especially when the nerves start to hit right before you ride cross country. Yeah. I've just done my very first intro 